Hey, what's up, guys? You're here with Gonad, and thank you for joining me here once again for your free picks for Monday, February 5th. Uh, there's not a lot going on on Monday, guys, only three games to talk about, but uh, I would call this past weekend quite successful. Saturday was great, uh, we hit a bunch of single picks, we hit a nice parlay on Saturday as well. Sunday was not as good, we lost on a parlay, unfortunately, but we hit some nice winners as singles as well, and uh. Uh, we made some nice money as well. Uh, as far as my premiums goes, uh, they were solid both on Saturday and Sunday. We made some money and uh, we'll keep doing so on Monday as well. For more free picks, of course, go up to the YouTube channel and check it out, guys. And for my best bets, simply click the link in the description. That will get you up to my page where you can sign up. Uh, like I said, guys, not a lot going on on Monday. It's going to be one of those a bit slower weeks uh, once again. And then uh, another busy weekend. And I believe that the week after we are getting the Champions League finally back, uh, which should be plenty interesting and plenty of good games uh, there as well. Uh, let's get this show on the road, guys. Uh, Bournemouth versus Manchester City, first game in EPL. Uh, and uh, first game of the video that we are going to talk about. City hasn't lost any of their last 11, 11 games. As a matter of fact, they are on an eight-game winning streak right now. And during this eight-game winning streak, they have kept a bunch of clean sheets, conceded only uh, two goals, and uh, they have scored a ton. And uh, they seem to be back to their old goal-scoring form. Uh, and on top of that, they are getting Holland back for this game, who will probably be in the starting lineup once again for the first time with the Bruyness in the beginning of the season. And uh, we know that when those two starts cooking, that uh, no teams are safe out there. And uh, Brentford certainly is not good enough to stop them right now. Uh, even though Ivan Tony is back in the lineup, and even though Brentford has been scoring a decent amount of goals, uh, defensively, they are not that good and they are conceding a lot more. And unfortunately for them, their offense is not good enough just yet to uh, compensate for the lack of defense. And on top of that, they are missing five or six players because of the injuries, which will significantly reduce their depth. So uh, I'm going to go all in the Manchester City here. And that means Manchester City to win and over two and a half goals at minus 108. I think that we're getting a great price and honestly I would snag that price as soon as possible because I think that's going to go down as soon as the bets start coming on uh, on this pick and uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see that drop to minus one, 130 or so as the game time approaches but at the moment it's minus 108 and I will gladly take that one. For our second game we're going to go to the Italian Serie A where we have Roma hosting Cagliari and uh, since the arrival of Daniele De Rossi as the head coach, this team went on, on, a, on a three game winning streak and uh, they are in a bit of a honeymoon period right now, which means that everybody's trying uh, extra hard, the players are motivated, the players are trying to earn the spot in the starting 11. And uh, for as long as that period lasts, we simply have to side with Roma. Uh, in a much better form, they have been outstanding at home this season, while Cagliari, while Cagliari is now on a two-game losing streak, and they have conceded five goals in those two games while scoring only two goals. So uh, I think this game is basically made for the Asian line of minus one. It's minus 133. I'm going to take it. Uh, the money line is good enough for a double with something else if you want to get a nice plus money out of it. But uh, as a single Roma minus one, I think at minus 133 is the way to go. And that basically means if Roma wins by a goal, we are getting a push. Basically means we are getting our money back. And if they win by two or more, we are going to get a win. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see a 2-0, maybe even 3-0 win for the Roma at home. And the last pick of this video, guys, is between Raya Vallecano and Sevilla in Spanish La Liga. Uh, neither of these two teams is playing well right now, especially Sevilla, who's been struggling the entire season so far. And I know that Rayo Vallecano is not a good home team. They're not scoring a lot of goals when playing at home. Only nine goals in ten games. They're conceding 1.8 goals on average. But uh, Sevilla is not a good team anywhere this season. Uh, they're averaging just over one scored goal per game, conceding 1.7 goals when playing on the road. And they have only one win on the road so far this season, alongside three draws and six losses. And on top of that, uh, they sold uh, Ivan Rakitic, who was their captain for the season. Uh, he went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, they're missing half of their defense. Uh, some players are suspended, some players are injured, and uh, the lack of depth is a very big problem for Sevilla right now. Uh, now, at the moment... 
I honestly don't think that Rava Lekonu is good enough to beat them. We have seen a lot of draws in this matchup. We have seen a lot of unders. We have seen some overs, but uh, I'm going to give this one a shot at the draw at plus 230. I think it's going to be a fairly even matchup. If either team is lucky enough to get ahead, to get a couple of goals, maybe that's going to give them the win. But uh, I honestly would not be surprised at all if we, if we see a nil-nil draw, maybe a 1-1 draw, but... I wouldn't go much further past than that. So, uh, Rao Valicano versus Sevilla. I'm taking the draw at plus 230. That's it, everyone. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, these were two, your three free picks for Monday. I hope you have a great day, guys. Good luck with all of your bets. And, of course, stay tuned for more free picks coming up soon.